Hello YouTube, my name is Amulya and you are watching TubeMint. In this quick video, I am going to show you how you can download and install Arduino IDE for your IoT projects. So, let's get started. Simply go ahead and launch your preferred web browser and then look for this Arduino IDE which is going to be from Arduino.cc click on it I'm using Google Chrome browser you can use any browser of your choice okay these are the options we have uh, this is Microsoft Windows 10 this lets you install on almost any operating system so what we are going to do you can also code online or simply see the download options here on the right this is windows msi installer zip installer and this is for windows 10 and above 64 bit so my system is 64 bit you can check your operating system type by going to system system information and you can see it says 64 based system type x 64 bit bit based pc so that's all you need and then make sure you install the right for yourself so you can simply just download it and if you wish to donate you can simply go ahead and pick an amount and then contribute and download once it is downloaded you can check in the folder downloads folder or you can simply click on that download or downloaded dot exe application package which is for arduino ide so this is arduino 2.2.1 2 so now you simply have to say i agree uh, anyone who uses a computer for all users so it's going to be installed on the c drive otherwise it will be installed in your user directory so on the usc window simply say yes user account control it, it is asking for my permission and giving showing where it's going to be installed so arduino ide is almost installed now so basically i'm going to try this uh, ESP32 microcontroller this is why I need this Arduino I'll keep you update, updated with my IoT project this is our ESP32 cam and I've got a few sensors as well this is great uh, you can so this is there are multiple microcontrollers that are compatible with Arduino IDE. This is what I have. So if you're going to buy this uh, SP cam, ESP 32-bit cam, uh, so it, this comes with a camera you also need the loader so you just don't buy this one you, you should have this loader as well so this is the loader okay you can see this is usb downloader so with this this doesn't come with like don't both don't do not come in one package you'll have to buy separately and this is a project using this this board ESP32 cam Wi-Fi controller smart smart robot car 
So that's great. I'm going to try a few sensors with this microcontroller. So I bought this one and this uh, down USB down download module. This lets you push your core to the controller by by this uh, cable USB cable to C port. So you can learn about this one this one by the way i bought it from robo about hint so okay uh, this is where you can get the IDE. I think my ID is almost installed. I will leave this link in the description to start the download for Microsoft Windows 10 and above. This is where I got my. Oops, it's taking, it's taking so long. So I'm going to close it and continue with my Arduino IDE setup. So you'll have to wait for it. Please wait while Arduino IDE is installed. Great. So this is basically Great, 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 great. All right, guys, thank you for your patience. You can see this is Arduino IDE, which comes with in two modes dark mode and light mode. Here we have Arduino IDE. bit slower I don't know this is the very first time I'm launching it on my system that could be the reason it is a bit slower trying to set up and identify a lot of things on the system really slow but finally it is up select a board so select a board and port Arduino circuit so this is basically IDE and I'm going to select this uh, in a search ESP32 it is not this is my S2 dev board and basically this is not identified or grade out so this means i'm missing some drivers okay otherwise you can go with arduino it should be all right you can see so this is how you can download and install arduino ide and select your board if your board is not listed you simply have to look for the missing driver for your board type and model and then probably restart your system thank you so much for watching bye